Hi there, everybody. My name is Richard McMahon from the 11 plus website, howtobecome.com. And in this training video, I'm going to teach you how to prepare for and pass the 11 plus and in particular, the maths element of the test. Please do watch the video from beginning to end because I'm going to give you a whole load of questions to work through. I'm going to give you some tutorials and then I'm going to tell you where you can get a copy of these slides so you can work through the questions in your own pace and also give you additional training resources to make sure you pass your 11 plus test. A couple of quick things, please do click the subscribe button below the video because um, that means you'll get notified as soon as I do further videos. And if you do like this video and you find it useful, please, I'd appreciate it if you click the thumbs up button. That will motivate me to do more for you. OK, let's get straight into it. Question number one. Leia is fascinated with ladybirds. Now, she counted how many ladybirds she could find each day for a whole week. Here, the results are shown in the picture below. So we've got the ladybirds here. I'm going to work through this with you Monday. There's one, two, three, four, Tuesday, one, two, three and a half, Wednesday, there's them there. So the, in the whole week, she's done Monday to Friday. Now, this key is important because it shows one ladybird actually equals four ladybirds. So on Monday, she counted four, eight, 12, 16. On Tuesday, four, eight, 12, and that counts as two, so that's 14, so on and so forth. So the question is, how many ladybirds did Leia see all together? So we have to work out how many ladybirds there are based on this key here on the top right hand corner. So first of all, 16, because we know four times four is 16. Then on Tuesday, it's 14 because it's actually three times four is 12 plus two because that's a half. Because that one there is just one, that part there. OK, so that's 14. On the next one, that's 21 because we've got one, two, three, four, five full ones, which is 20. And then we've got that one element because that's a quarter of a ladybird. A quarter of four is one. Here we've got nine because that's two ladybirds full. And then one in the top left corner, which is a quarter of the four, which is one is nine. And then finally 12. So we add all of those up together to get the answer 72. OK, so I'd like you guys to have a go at this question in a similar format. So it's your turn now. And I'm going to do this periodically through this lesson. So please do put your answer to question two in the comments section below the video. Please do that and I'll come on each day and mark them for you. OK, you'll notice on the right hand side here there's a timer and this is going to give you about 12 to 15 seconds to answer the question. Leia is fascinated with ladybirds. She counted how many ladybirds she could find each day for a week. Her results are shown in the picture below. So it is different than the previous one. So there's the key. The key is different. Eight ladybirds per one. OK, so I want you to answer the question, how many ladybirds did Leia see all together in the whole week? And you've got 15 seconds to answer this question. If you need more time, because the time constraint is quite tight, please just pause the video. But make sure you put your answer to question two in the comments section below. Off you go. OK, so if you need a bit more time, like I say, pause the video, put your answer in the comments section below and let's now move on to question three. Don't forget, you're going to get these slides so you can practice with these in your own time. Question three, Katie is given weekly pocket money for her part time jobs. Here is how much she earns across six weeks. So week one, £40.60. Week two, she gets £32.20. Week three, £75.80. Week four, £25. Week five, 15, 50, and week six, 20 pounds, 90. So work out the weekly average. So how much does she get on average per week? And there are the options, A, 20 pound, B, 32 pound, 50, C, 35, and D, 40 pound, 50. Now this is something you can't do by guessing, so you're gonna have to work it out. Here's how to work it out, and then I'm gonna get you guys to try one yourself. Step one, add the six week amounts together. So add all of them together and that will give you 210 pounds. Then to work out the weekly average, simply divide the total, which is 210 by six, six to reach the average, which is 35 pounds on average. OK, so C is the answer. So step one, add the six week amounts together and then step two, divide the total by six, the number of weeks to reach the average, which is 35 pounds. OK, so now it's your turn. Again, put your answer to the following question, which is four, in the comments section below the video, please. Now, we're going to use the same timer. You get about 15 seconds for this one. 
And the question is, Jonathan is given weekly pocket money for his part-time jobs. Here is how much he earns across five weeks. 48.60, 12.20, .20, £34.80, £23 and £18.50. Please work out the weekly average. And there are your options, £27.42, £24.24, £25.20 and £27.24. So I'll start the timer. If you need more time, please pause the video. Please put your comment, your answer in the comment section below the video. Thank you. OK, well done if you managed to answer that. Moving on to question five. I think of a number. I then multiply that number by four. Next, I subtract four. The answer is 20. What was the number I started with? Is it A6, B7, C8 or D10? So this is how to work it out. So I think of any of the numbers. I start with six. I multiply it by four to get 24 minus four. And that gives me the answer. I could quickly try B. But it would be 7 times 4, which would be 28 minus 4, would give me 24, which isn't the right answer. So it's a process of elimination. And the first one I tried, which is A, just happens to be the answer. OK, excellent. So now it's your turn. I want you to have a go at this. Please put your answer to question 6 in the comments section below the video. I think of a number. I then multiply it by 8. Next, I subtract 21. And the answer is 67. What was the number? I started with, is it A, 8, B, 9, C, 10, or D, 11? And you've got the time it takes the timer to come down to put your answer in the comments section below the video for marking. Thank you. And like I say, if you need to pause the video for more time, please feel free to do so. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. I'd really appreciate that. Question seven. We've got loads more to work through. Fill in the missing numbers to make these calculations correct. So there's two numbers that need to go there and add 56 equals 100. So what we need to do is, is minus 56 from 100 to get the answer. So the answer will be 44, which is C. So now it's your turn to have a go at a similar question. Please put your answer to question eight in the comments section below the video for marking. Fill in the missing numbers to make these calculations correct. Six times something something equals 300. Is it A50, B30, C45 or D30? You've got the time. It takes the time to count down to put your answer in the comments section below the video. Thank you. OK, making great progress. Question number nine. Below is a recipe which shows how to make a delicious fruit smoothie. Now, this recipe is for six people. This is important. So 900 millilitres of apple juice, three mangoes, three bananas, six oranges and 300 millilitres of milk. How many bananas would you need to make a fruit smoothie for just two people? Is it A0, B1, C2 or D3? Well, if that recipe is for six people, then all we need to do is divide it by the two to get the answer, which is one. OK, so the answer there is one, because if three bananas is for six people, you need just one for two people. OK, now it's your turn. Please put your answer to question 10 in the comment section below the video for marking. Below is a recipe which shows how to make a delicious fruit smoothie. The recipe again is for six people. 900 millilitres of apple juice, three mangoes, three bananas, six oranges, 300 millilitres of milk. How many mangoes and oranges would you need to make a fruit smoothie for 60 people? Is it A, 60 mangoes and 10 oranges, one mango and six oranges, six mangoes and 10 oranges, or 30 mangoes and 60 oranges? You have the time. It takes the timer to wind down. Please do put your answer in the comment section below for marking. OK, you're making fantastic progress. Moving on to question number 11. Using the digits below, complete the challenge. So we've got 49379. What is the largest odd five digit number that can be made? So an odd digit number has to end in an odd number, which all of these do. So which one is the largest that can be made 
out of 49379. And from the options below, it is A, because you start with the highest numbers and then gradually work down. So 99743. Now it's your turn. Again, put your answer to question 12 in the comment section below for marking. Using the digits below, complete the challenge. 49379. What is the smallest even five-digit number that can be made from the above numbers? Is it A, 79934, B, 39794, C, 37994, or D, 39974? And you have the time it takes the timer to go down to place your answer in the comments section below, please. Okay, next question, 13. What is the mean temperature, the average temperature? So what we would need to do, first of all, so on the left of this chart, this graph, we've got temperature, and then we've got the months January to December, so we've got 12 months. What is the mean temperature? And the options here are A, 8.45 degrees C, B, 7.84 degrees C, C, 10.75 degrees C, or D, 12.52 degrees C. So step one, add up the temperature for all of the 12 months. So what we'd have to do here is go 6 there, 6 there, 8, 10, 14, 16, 16, 16, that's 13 because that's in between 12 and 14, 10, 8 and 6, and we get the answer 129 on the right hand side. Then step 2, divide 129 by the 12 months to get the average, you've done this before, and the correct answer is 10.75 degrees, so well done if you've got that right. Okay, your turn, have a go at this question. Put your answer to question 14 in the comments section below the video please for marking. What is the average temperature, the mean temperature, because mean is the same as average, between the months of July and December? So you want July and December. And you've got the time it takes, this timer, to come down to put your answer in the comments section below. Is it 11.5 degrees C, 10.5 degrees C, 12.5 degrees C, or 13.5? Off you go. Okay, well done if you got that right. Okay, now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, click the link below this video in the description below where it says show more to get more free 11 plus help and advice. I'm gonna send you to a, a resource website page. It's free of charge, there's no payment required. Um, so you can go straight through there. If your parents helping your children, you'll find the resource really helpful as well. There's a number of training videos on there. I've also put some training video links in the description below the video as well to help you prepare and practice. Um, guys, I, I really hope you've enjoyed that video. I wish you all the best in your pursuit to passing your 11 plus. Don't forget, like I say, subscribe to the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, put all your answers in the comments section below and I'll come on and mark them for you. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care.